Hi, I'm Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist, and I provide education and information and commentary on sports and exercise injuries and injury treatments and injury prevention for athletes and active people, probably much like yourself, so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. Now, as an orthopedic surgeon, we fix things. We fix things that are broken. Broken bones, torn ligaments, maybe uh, ruptured tendons, and we put them back together. That's why so many uh, other types of physicians, internists, family medicine doctors, OBGYN psychiatrists, you name it, sort of begrudgingly, maybe condescendingly call orthopedic surgeons glorified carpenters. I mean, it is true to a certain extent, we put things back together, or at least in the sports medicine world, uh, we also make new versions of it. Like in ACL, we make a new anterior cruciate ligament. But to fix these structures, broken bones, torn ligaments, uh, you know, pulled off uh, labrum like the cartilage bumper in the socket, all these things that we need to fix, um, sometimes we need implants. Now, with a broken bone, a lot of times we'll use plates and screws, and those are metal. If you've ever had an ankle fracture, uh, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. You may have a couple of screws in your ankle, you may have a long plate with a bunch of screws in it, but they're metal. But there are some surgeries that we do that uh, we can use implants that are what we call bioabsorbable, meaning that they're not metal. They actually um, go away. And, and so I thought this is, I get this question a lot. What does that actually mean and what happens to them? So in today's Ask Dr. Geyer video, I'm going to discuss what actually happens to what we call bioabsorbable implants. Jamie asks, I read that some screws used as anchors in the tenodesis of the biceps tendon are dissolved and absorbed by the body. If this is the case, what keeps the biceps tendon attached to the bone after it dissolves? New bone? Scar tissue? Well, it's a really, really good question. I kind of laugh because it seems so obvious to us, but we probably, as orthopedic surgeons, do a really bad job of explaining this. So when we say absorbable, we used to, let me start with sort of the history. We used to uh, use different uh, materials that were absorbable, but yeah, it truly would dissolve. They were essentially basically a glorified plastic. PLLA was the trade name, and that was like poly something lactic acid. And it shows you how much I remember, but those in my experience, especially we had screws made out of, made out of that for uh, ACL reconstruction. You'd go in to do a, re a revision of that surgery for some reason, you know, two, three years later, those you know, bioabsorbable screws would still be there. But now a lot of these implant companies make these out of different materials that basically turn into bone. So it's not that they dissolve and leave a hole, they basically turn into bone. So what he's talking about is a biceps tenodesis up at the shoulder. You rupture the biceps tendon up at the shoulder. You know, the biceps is a big muscle in the arm, but it attaches by a tendon up at the shoulder, but it can pull off and pull down the arm. So you can go in and sort of reattach it. And what he's talking about is you, uh, the tenodesis, you drill a hole into the bone and then you basically um, put the tendon down into that tunnel that you just drilled, drilled and then what basically holds it in that tunnel is um, sort of a screw and that screw is absorbable. And so basically that screw has sort of a press fit and it keeps, it, keeps the tendon from pulling out. Now, yes, it turns into bone. That process takes probably six to 12 months and it turns in and basically gets solid. And as it turns into bone, it basically anchors that tendon down into now into the bone so it stays in place. But it's absolutely a terrific question. It basically, at least in theory, turns into bone. So when you say absorbable, it, that's sort of true. It really, again, it's, it's a material that in theory is incorporated into your body um, and turns in uh, to bone. Now, there's a lot of different structures that we put in. They may not be metal that aren't absorbable. Some sutures dissolve, some sutures don't, like the, the stitches that we use for meniscus anchors usually are not dissolvable. The stitches that we use to pass through rotator cuff tears uh, that go into anchors that uh, get dis um, attached you know, into the bone and, and basically pull the rotator cuff tendon down to the shoulder, the stitches are not dissolvable, even if the anchors that go down into bone are. So that's a good question to ask if you're really concerned about that. We use structures, be it metal or you know, absorbable, based on how well they're gonna basically get that repair to heal. If we can use something that will absorb and go away, terrific, we certainly will, um, but we don't want to compromise the quality of 
your repair of whatever that structure is. So if you're concerned about that, concerned about any uh, device, implant, suture, whatever that would stay in the body, ask your orthopedic surgeon that. Uh, it's, it's a valid question to ask. A lot of times there's options, a lot of times there aren't, but it's definitely worth asking. Now, have you had an orthopedic surgery and your surgeon used uh, absorbable implants? Or have you had a surgery and there's metal, be it anchors or plates or screws? I'd love to hear your experience. So below this video, please share your thoughts. I'd love to hear your experience and maybe it can help other people going through orthopedic surgeries right now. And if you know somebody that needs an orthopedic surgery and potentially is going to have uh, implants put into his or her body, please share this video with him or with her. I'd really love to help any way I can. Now, if you like videos like this and you want more information on sports and exercise injuries and injury treatments and injury prevention, subscribe to my video channel. I record a couple of these videos every single week and I'd love to deliver those videos directly to you. Now last, there's so many resources that I create on ways to stay healthy and perform your best that I only share uh, with my email list. So go to my website, drdavidgeyer.com, enter at the very top of the screen your name and your email address. You'll get a free ebook on injury prevention in sports and exercise, among other resources that I share, and I'll deliver those directly to you. It's completely free, and I look forward to connecting with you that way as well. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you've had an orthopedic surgery with implants, I'd love for you to comment below this video. And thank you again for watching. I look forward to seeing you right here next time.